Now, African economies are racing to try and feed their growing populations and governments in some cases are investing quite a bit in enhancing food production. Rice is now emerging as a key staple in Kenya, but processing the crop creates a vast amount of byproducts known as rice husks. Now, once that was a product seen as entirely just nothing but waste, but young people in Kenya now turning those rice husks that used to be wasted into organic fertilizer. Halligan Agade has that story on Grassroots. From the skies, the Moya plains unfold. Endless green rice fields that feed millions across Kenya. But with every harvest comes a stubborn challenge, rice husks. Hard to decompose, they once piled up as waste, suffocating the environment. Today, that story is changing. Through Kilimo Trust and local youth groups, these husks are collected and processed into biological charcoal or biochar used to boost soil fertility. We found a way of uh, environmentally handling the rice straws, uh, the, uh, the rice husks, through carbonizing it or burning rice husks under very low or no oxygen to produce carbonated uh, husks. This carbon now is stable, it can remain in the environment without changing or without any change for centuries. So, but it has also a lot of agricultural use. One of them is a, is a soil pH amender. Basically, soil pH amender means it, it, it modifies the soil acidity. But it is not just about the agricultural benefits. Adding biochar can help the soil store carbon for long periods, preventing it from being released into the air as carbon dioxide, making it a valuable tool in mitigating climate change. This is the best known way of storing, or what we call sequestering in science, scientific terms, or storing away carbon, because you know one of the issues that are causing global warming it is methane gas production and, of course, carbon. Back on the farms, the biochar gives smallholder farmers like Jennifer Wawira healthier crops and better yields. I have been a farmer for over a decade and struggled with soil acidity for many years. Despite using various fertilizers, I saw little improvement. One day I met a young person involved in biochar fertilizer production, which led me to attend a training session. There, I discovered the many benefits of this organic fertilizer and it has since transformed my approach to farming. For young people like Isaac Kabiru, biochar offers a steady income and a future built on sustainability. He has been working with the initiative since 2020 to process biochar and has witnessed how the technology has developed. Before we used to use some other small kins which were not environment friendly, but we had to do that since we needed to make some money, we needed to make some profits. To, in order for us to cater for our families. Uh, we used to use some other kinds which used to produce a lot of smoke. And like now, we have a machine that normally produces biochar with no smoke. Yeah, uh, this one is much efficient compared to the other smaller kinds. From waste to wealth, rice husks are no longer a burden but a force for greener farming across Kenya and hopefully soon East Africa. Haligan Agade, CGTN in Central Kenya.